I, I know that you, you routinely introspect in the commentaries that you publish. I wondered if maybe you would reflect on the experience that you've had as an investor and allocator since the global financial crisis. Some of the maxims or rules of thumb that GMO has long used, mean reversion being one of them, right? You know, maybe hasn't been quite as dependable. No. And so I, I wonder sort of what you as an investor, what your firm takes away from that and whether it informs your approach going forward. I think at the asset class level, uh, it's done fine. Mm -hmm. uh, the real shortfall has been at the corporate level. Mm -hmm. uh, things, and this is my personal view rather than a GMO formal view, sure. but things are clearly quite different in this last 20 year window than they have been. Mm -hmm. We've seen the emergence of, of a handful of giant companies that don't really use capital in the, tradi the traditional way. Mm -hmm. They're not building factories and machine tools. They're investing in advertising, in brand building, building for the future, expensing it all. Sure. And uh, it's unreasonable to expect that their nominal return on equity will look anything like we're used to. And if you look at the return on equity by 10 percentile mm -hmm. running through the last 20 years, curiously what you find is that the 80 percent in the middle have stayed fairly similar, bouncing along. What is different is the top 20% that was the most profitable 20 years ago has widened its lead as the, as the Apples and the Amazons have done so well. And they have inflicted pain on the bottom 10% mm -hmm. so that uh, value traps, as we call them, have gone up a bit. Okay. So the book companies get zapped, the retailers begin to get zapped. Industry after industry are being taken out by a new generation of disruptors mm -hmm. and, and put through faster trouble than we were used to seeing in the database. <clears throat> and so the fairly dependable seven year regression to normal mm -hmm. has I think at the very least slowed down. And I wrote a paper called Not With A Bang But A Whimper in which I argued perhaps counting on 20 years was better than seven uh, because now we need more macro level issues to mean revert, and counting on not full scale reversion, mm -hmm. but maybe going back two thirds of the way in 20 years was more appropriate. That's still a dismal return for the S&P. It's about two and a half percent real for 20 years, which uh, is nothing to wish for. Um, so even in a world that is different, that, that stays higher priced, that has higher profit margins, and mean reverts more slowly, um, you still get some pretty ugly returns.